Hi there, this is Denise Keegan from Freshly Found. And I realise that we're probably all going to have to be wearing uh, some kind of masks for a while. I thought I'd show you what I've been doing for myself and my family. Um, I've been making some masks from vintage hankies that um, I had. I love using hankies because the fabric is, is quite delicate and soft. I have some very pretty hankies too, so it helps you feel a little nicer if you're wearing something pretty. Yes. So I set out how I, I go about making these. Here I have a hanky, which you can see I folded in half with uh, the hemmed edges in the center. And then what I usually do is just pin over at the top and then at the bottom and stitch that into place. And it's fine to leave this open in the middle. So right, that's the first step. Then, once both these sides are stitched, I then put the pleats into place. So I've made a little five centimeter measure. And so what I do is I put it at the top of the hanky like that, fold it over, and then just take my iron and iron the pleat into place. At the end here there's a short little bit I don't I don't worry about that so once that's done you turn it over and this first five centimeter piece you leave but then after that you can just pleat down Put the last pleat into place and then you can press that that's pretty much what I've done with this one over here. That last little flap, that, that extra bit, I just fold it underneath here. And once it's all stitched together, this actually forms a nice little hook around your chin. So this, this goes at the top over your nose and this section goes underneath your chin. So I've, I've added the elastic. I use about between 18 and 20 centimeters of elastic I find works well. I've stitched it on this side, but on this side here, I'll show you how I do it. I just insert the elastic into that little hem that I made there and into the bottom little flap over here. And then it just gets stitched down there. So there we go. Here are a few more that I've, I've made already. And I'm going to be making quite a few more. So right, I hope that's some inspiration for you and enjoy making yourself some pretty masks.